what would I choose for my last meal? And I can never decide between the hamburger that leaves me satisfied and the chocolate sliver. They've got me in the, what do they call it, a gurney? They've got me in the gurney, and I say goodbye to my parents. They say see you later, and I say goodbye. And it's just me and these two residents and a nurse wheeling me down the halls and through walls, and they get slower and slower, and I know we're getting closer to the room, and they're just trying to give me time. Because I'm a human maraca, and they need my skin to shut the fuck up, and the anesthesia will do that, of course, but they prefer to put you asleep when you already look it. But we get there because eventually you're going to get there. It's this room of white, straight out of a movie, I swear. And I swear I think, why couldn't it be blue? Why couldn't I die in a room full of blue? Because, and I can't explain it, I'm sorry, but it's easier to assume you're going to die. I make some joke because I always make some joke. Something about Frankenstein, maybe, or Grey's Anatomy and they transfer me from the gurney to the operating table. On comes the mask, on comes the gas. A smile from the nurse, and I tell her I don't feel anything yet, mostly because I know this is what everyone tells her, and it will help her to know this will be business as usual. It's like your question again, except this time not food. I haven't eaten in 12 hours, and my last meal was hospital yogurt and chicken fingers. What would I choose for my last thoughts? Well, I think, if I focus on that question, then my last thoughts will be about my last thoughts, which will be my last thoughts. <laughs> and I wonder how many people have the misfortune of going that way, dying in a way only Nietzsche might approve. <laughs> I will not be one of them. In the end, it's not even my choice. I see pale blue dot. It's a photo of Earth taken by some satellite telescope on Valentine's Day, before I was even born. And it's all black except a small speck of blue, so small you can't even tell it's blue, to tell the truth. That's what I see, and I feel the sleep crawl down my wrist, snake through my chest, and fill my lungs with heavy trust. I see pale blue dot. I am a pale white dot on this pale blue dot. Inhale, pale, exhale, blue dot. Inhale, pale, exhale, blue dot. Inhale, pale, Exhale, blue dot. My parents are in that photo. My grandparents and great-grandparents are in that photo. And my parents are in that photo. And split between them, still in two unmet halves, I am in that photo. <laughs>